What's up guys, this episode we're diving into a relatively new pagination gem called Pagey. So this is something that adds pagination links at the bottom of your page and you're probably familiar with using Kaminari or Will Paginate in the past. Now, the reason that I wanted to talk about Pagey is because of these benchmarks. It claims that, at least in the benchmarks that they used, which hopefully are fairly real, real world, uh, it's about 29 times faster than Kaminari, and it's 18 times less memory usage than Kaminari as well, and Will Paginate kind of sits in the middle, which is a huge improvement even on um, Will Paginate. In either case, it's significantly faster. So, this is a pretty interesting library, and it's pretty straightforward. And the way that it works is a little bit different than the way that you might be used to setting up Will Paginate and Kaminari, so it's a bit of a diversion. You're gonna have to definitely read the docs or follow the screencast in order to set this up because it doesn't add methods to, say, your active record uh, relations like you might get used to. So we're gonna dive into using this as an example in this episode, but there's also a bunch of extensions that you're gonna to have to include to do um, some basic things. So for example, if you wanna add a pagination for arrays or search kick, that stuff kinda of works out of the box in these other libraries, but you're gonna to have to include an extension for that with Pagey. So it's more modular and you're gonna to need to grab whatever you need to use in your application, which is good because it reduces the complexity that your app is going to be requiring. So that's pretty awesome um, and it's definitely something that you should check out. So let's dive into using Pagey. So let's create a brand new Rails app. We're gonna use the Jumpstart template uh, here and we'll just say um, Pagey Nation will be the name of our application. This is gonna create our app. We will then create just a scaffold so that we can have some models to actually paginate. And then we're gonna set up Pagey so that we'll do the pagination for us. So the setup for this is actually a little bit different. You're going to include Pagey's front end and back end in different places rather than just adding it to your Rails app and then actually getting these methods available. Um, this is more manual to include in your Rails app because this will work with any Rack application. You don't have to use that with Rails unlike the alternatives that we talked about earlier. So this is something you could use in a regular Rack app or Sinatra or something like that. So first things first, let's open up our gem file and add Pagey to the bottom. We're gonna use the latest version, but make sure that you add a version number in there in case their API changes for some reason in the future so that that doesn't fail. Now that we have that set up, we need to add the back end to our controllers. Now if this is something that you're gonna use in a lot of controllers, you can just go into your application controller and add include Pagey backend here. This is what's going to provide the Pagey method that we will use in our scaffolds index so that we can uh, grab the correct page of results. So let's create a scaffold here. Let's say blog post, which will have a title, a body is text. We'll just keep it really simple. Rails DB migrate that and we'll run our Rails server. But let's go into the blog post controller and set that up here. So we have the Pagey backend added to our application controller. Alternatively, you could just add Pagey backend here if you would like to have it just in specific controllers instead of all of them. Um, so that's entirely up to you, but since they inherit from application controller, we have access to all those methods now that we've included it. So rather than doing your blog post uh, dot all and setting that equal to an instance variable, you're going to wrap your uh, call here with pagey and then you're gonna set pagey and blog post equal to that. So you'll do your query and then it will return to you this special pagey object which will keep track of the pagination stuff for you. So that's the difference here. Normally you would be used to saying blog post equals blog post dot all dot paginate and you'd pass in your params or you'd say page and you pass in your params here. That's not what happens in this case. So this pagey method knows that there's a method called params that it can ask 
and it's going to look at that for the page information and then uh, save that in its own object and keep this kind of separated out. So it's not integrating itself into Active Record near as tightly as you would with Will Paginate or Kaminari. So this is much more of a generic library that is more flexible um, and so that's kind of the difference here. Now we have to go into our helpers and include the pagey helper um, for our view. So inside here we can say include pagey front end and that's going to make sure that the pagey helpers in the views are available. So if we go to our blog post index dot html erb instead of all this stuff that we've got here where we loop through each of those blog posts like normal and print out everything we're going to need to include the page here at the bottom so uh, let's go down here at the bottom and we'll say pagey nav at pagey and that's it and so we have the records here that we want to loop through um, that was assigned as well and then our pagey nav is down here. So let's try this out in the browser and see if it works. Now if we load up our app, we get a bunch of HTML printed out here at the bottom, which we might think is incorrect. Well, it is correct because of the way that this works. It's returning to us the HTML, but we need to insert that into the page as raw. We can trust that this is going to sanitize it for us and make sure that it's not injecting any malicious uh, code into our page, so that's what we're gonna have to do. We can use the double equals here, which is the equivalent of doing a raw. So if you did raw, that's going to print that out into the page, but you can also do the same thing with double equals, and that will also print it out. And I believe HTML safe should work on this as well, so as long as it's returning a string, uh, that should get printed out as well as actual HTML into your page that is unescaped. So there we go, we have um, a set of navigation links. Right now we don't have anything, so we don't see any clickable links, but if we go and add a bunch of blog posts, we should be able to see that. So what we're gonna do is run the Rails console here. We're gonna say uh, 50.times, do, we're going to say blog post dot create test post, uh, this would be what, what I call it, title, there we go, and if we refresh our page, we now have links that are clickable and navigate to our pages. So that's it by default, there's not a whole lot to it. However, if you want to use this with Bootstrap, for example, you have to include some extra extensions. So that's what we're gonna take a look at. How do you add those extra extensions into Pagey so you can use it in your Rails app? So to use an extension like Bootstrap with this, we're going to create a config initializers pagey.rb file and inside of here is where we'll add our include for the extension. So here we're going to require pagey extras bootstrap and by simply doing that um, we will have now included the uh, correct code for this and now we can add a different helper method down here instead of pagey nav we can call pagey nav bootstrap which will allow us to call the bootstrap version. Um, so what we're gonna do is restart a Rails server because we've now included that file in an initializer. And once this has restarted and re-rendered our page, we now see that it's re-rendered our navigation but with bootstrap styling. So this works as you would expect it to with bootstrap and it's got support for other frameworks as well. But you can see down here, that um, in, it is not rendering any templates um, when you call the pagination. So this is not rendering like an ERB partial to actually print those out. It's actually writing a really fast helper in pure Ruby that's outputting those strings. So it's really quick that way. However, you can actually call a partial if you want instead, um, which is mentioned in their doc. So if you wanna customize how this looks, um, you can render that partial instead if you would. So for example, if you wanted to use the compact version of this, you could say pagey nav compact bootstrap um, and refreshing the page will give us that compact navigation here at the bottom. So you can see um, we're on page two of three, page one of three and so on, which is 
ironically a little wider than this, but once you have more pages, this gets a lot wider than the compact version. Um, then also, if you want to render your own custom uh, version of this, you can render um, and you say pagey, nav, bootstrap, for example, uh, then you would say locals, pagey is at pagey, and then you could write your own template for this using that pagey variable and then have your own partial or whatever that um, could render out your own template. If we open up the blog post controller, you can add your customization in here for how many uh, results you'd like to see. That is simply items 10, say, uh, and then you should be able to see only 10 items per page. And now you can see this has gotten longer than the compact version. Um, so there's a lot to this. There's even some JavaScript for responsive design so that it can hide um, these pages, I guess, when your screen gets smaller or show more while it's wider. Um, so you can even include some JavaScript for that, which I will send you to the docs to take a look at. But Pagey is pretty great. Um, it does a lot of stuff. It's a little bit new, so there's a little bit maybe unclear moments in some of the instructions. There's just a lot more that you have to set up a little bit manually, but you can tweak it to your heart's content to make your navigation um, for pages work exactly like you would want it to. So you can tweak it as much as you like and it works really nicely. So that is it for this episode and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.